Hello there, and welcome to Liz's Gaming Services. In today's video, we are sharing with you what we find to be the most versatile loadouts for every infantry class in Star Wars Battlefront 2. We hope you find this to be effective while you are playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. Just in case you're only here for one class, there will be timestamps for each class in the description. Let's start with the Assault class. Your first card should be tough enough. This gives you instant regeneration on activation. This star card will keep you alive a lot longer because you can have health regeneration at will. Your next card should be Assault Training. Assault Training will allow you to win many fights one after another because you will get 20 health back after each kill. This is extremely important so that you do not die after two engagements right after the other. Your last card should be Bodyguard. Bodyguard gives you a damage reduction when you are very close to death at critical health. This is extremely important as well. It will add to your survivability, which is the most important factor. Now we are on to weaponry for the Assault class. For the majority of the time, you should have the A280 equipped with improved cooling and improved range. This is the most versatile weapon for the Assault class. With headshots, it can have the highest DPS at close range, and it already has the highest DPS at mid-range. If you are on a close quarters map, it is acceptable to use the CR2. If you don't ever want to switch your weapon, though, you should definitely stick to the A280. If you were to equip the CR2, the mods you should use, use are the Reduced Recoil mod and the Ion Shot mod as it only increases your time to kill by one, and it does massive amounts of damage to shields. Next up, we have the Heavy class. The first star card you should equip is the Detonite Charge. Now, you may be using the Impact Grenade, but the Detonite Charge can kill any troopers with only one detonation, so it's much more effective. The next card you should have equipped is the Supercharged Sentry. This can deal insane amounts of damage to heroes and troopers. It's the most damaging sentry. The last card you should equip is the Improved Combat Shield. You can survive a considerable amount longer even when there is sustained fire, as this card increases the shield health to 300. Now we're on to the weaponry for the Heavy class. Normally you should be using the TL-50 with the Improved Cooling and Reduced Spread mods because it is the best weapon, but if you can consistently hit headshots, then you should definitely use the T21 instead. The T21 does not need any mods, but both of these will work just fine for your gameplay. Next up, we have the Officer class. The first star card you should equip is the Improved Battle Command, which gives you 100 extra health. So you can go into any engagement and you will have a very tough time dying as not only is the animation time very short so you can use it during the battle but it'll stay active for a considerable amount of time. The next card you should equip is Officer's Presence. Now Officer's Presence will increase the health regeneration for your teammates but for you, you will be earning battle points just by standing near teammates. The last star card you should equip is Bounty Hunter. This will increase your battle point gain, and with the officer, that should be your main goal. Finally, we're on to the weapon for the officer class. You should be using the SE-44C with the rapid fire and improved cooling mod. This is just the best all-around weapon for the officer class. Last up for the base four classes, we have the specialist. Now, the first star card you should equip is the personal shield. Now, personal shield is so helpful. You can always run away with your life because you will be able to protect yourself from all blast or fire. The only thing that would stop you is explosives, but fortunately they also bounce off of the shield. The next card you should equip is Stealth. It increases your melee damage to 125, so you will be able to defeat anyone in a melee battle. And also... Your blaster fire will not show up on enemy scanners, which is so helpful for heavy sniping so people can't hunt you down, and aggressive sniping so that you're just like an assault trooper, but they can't see you. 
The last card you should equip is Hardened Infiltration. This will give you a damage reduction with your infiltration ability. This will give you just easy kills, and it's very helpful to use in many situations. Now on to the weaponry. If you are heavy sniping, you should be using the NG242 with improved cooling and dual zoom. Is It is a one-shot headshot, so it's going to be the best sniper. And if you are going to aggressive snipe, you should use the A280 CFE with dual zoom and burst and the burst mod. That wraps up all the base infantry classes. Now we're going to move on to the reinforcement infantry classes. Let's start off with the enforcer class. The first star card you should equip is enforcer training. This will give you health on kill, which is so important as the enforcer will get a lot of kills, but they're also going to be taking a lot of damage. The next star card for the Enforcer class you should equip is Expert Weapons Handling. This will increase the duration of your middle ability, and your middle ability is usually the most powerful, so it's very important to cultivate the uses for that. And the last star card you should equip is Battle Harden. This will increase your base health, and this is very important. Survivability is the key. Next up, we have the Infiltrator class. The first star card you should equip is Stalker. So Stalker will grant you health on kill if you're in the heat sensor abilities. And that's just very useful because you're seeking out enemies in that ability. And if you can get kills, if you can get kills then you'll get health. The next star card you should equip is Evade. Evade will grant you an extra dodge, which is so important because as an infiltrator, you have a little bit lower health, and this will help you survive longer. The last star card you should equip is Acquisition. This is super helpful because people are going to have a hard time getting like free hits on you just because you don't know where they are, because it will mark them on your screen so you'll be able to hunt them down. And lastly, we have the Aerial class. The first star card you're going to want to equip is Aerial Training. This is just the health on kill card, so you're going to need to equip this for your survivability. Second card you should equip is Battle Harden. That'll increase your base health. And the Aerial has the lowest health. They barely have any more than the Heavy, so this will help you out a lot. The next one you want to equip is Evade, and this will give you an extra dodge. And with the Aerial, you are trying to be as agile as possible, and this will just increase your potential. And that wraps up our loadout video. If it was helpful, please leave a like. For more content just like this, subscribe and turn on notifications, and we will see you in the future.